Hi guys, it's Kathy. Welcome to my art channel, Kathy Artistry Fluid Art, by me, Kathy Nordland. Today I'm going to paint over a little 8x10 canvas that I'm not real thrilled with. It's supposed to be a Dutch pour. Well, it is Dutch pour, but I don't like the composition much. It looks more like a fuzzy bow tie to me. At any rate, I like the colors. Um, I'm just going to try to go over it with uh, a nice little bloom. Um, we'll see what happens. I don't know if the bloom can be that uh, uh, this small, but we're going to give it a try to get my spinner out too. Um, anyway, so today I'm going to be using for the base, it's Amsterdam uh, and uh, Artist Loft White mixed with a little bit of primary yellow from Amsterdam. Uh, the colors for the bloom itself is going to be Artist Loft and Amsterdam White mixed together. It's fairly thin. It will make a, it looks like a little volcano top, a little pyramid, and then it immediately disappears. And as soon as it leaves trace, you go like that, the trace disappears. Hope you can see that. Uh, the next color is the Amsterdam Red Violet. So pretty and bright. And the next one is Mystic, which apparently they used to have. I don't know which brand carried it, but she, it's a beautiful, deep, teal, metallic teal color. What you do is you mix half and half Prussian blue with Deco Arts Extreme Sheen Emerald Metallic, and it's, it's really pretty. So I'm going to try that. And then the last one is the PBO Blue Green. It's a little bit metallic. Anyway, um, I'm going to put it on the spinner and make a big mess and then see if I need to spin it out rather than tilt it. We'll be using the noisy blow dryer, of course. So, okay, let's first start with the base. It's a real pretty pastel warm yellow. I think I should have made more of this. I'm going to cover the sides. It's out of frame here, but I am tilting it into the cup uh, so that I have a little bit left. There we go. Okay. So there's that. And I need to torch that because I see a lot of little air bubbles popping up and I don't want that to to interfere with the composition. It'll just leave little craters when it dries if you don't pop them with the torch. Since well you can also do it this way. Oh, that works pretty well too to get all those tiny little bubbles, but I'm still seeing some, so it's going to get torched. Here we go. That ought to do it. Then, let's see if I can get you in frame. I do this a little differently. Rather than doing a little puddle on top of puddles, I'm going to see about Um, doing like little petal puddles, if that makes any sense. So it kind of has a flower shape to begin with. 
I don't really know what to expect with that. It's just a little different than doing one big puddle and then other colors on top of it, but um, I think it will be fine. I probably should get another stir stick for these. Next is the Amsterdam Red Violet. Mystic, isn't that a pretty color? Oops, got a little too much on there, I think. Then the Pigio blue-green iridescent. I should put anything in the middle. Hmm. No, I'm just going to blow it out like that. I do want to put a little bit more white around here. very hard to see the white next to that pale yellow. So I don't know what to expect here, but we will soon find out what happens. Okay, I'll get out my little pinky dryer. I put it on cool. is so tiny, I think I'm going to use my smallest blower instead. Oh, that mystic color is so pretty. I've kind of got the bald center in the middle. I'm not quite sure what to do with that. in here in the middle. Maybe I'm going to put this blue around it. Oops.
funky center, but anyway, let's spin it first and see how this works. See what we got. I'm not spinning it very hard. Uh, just little by little, if you spin it too hard, it's going to splatter out and you're going to lose the composition. So just little by little will work. Looks like a little feather in the middle or something. Little by little. I like these three. I'm not real thrilled with this. I'm going to try a little more blowing out on the sides. It's interesting. This is very cool air coming out, but did you notice when I blow on this, these little cells come through? Usually that would happen more uh, with the torch. So that's a little surprising. I've never seen that before. It's interesting. little better since blowing those out. I don't mind the little uh, cells coming through. It looks like it's the pale yellow from underneath coming up. Some of the white. Okay, so this kind of looks like a, a center. You know, sometimes a petal will come out this way as you're looking at it. So this would be the orientation, I guess. <laughs> so so now I've just got this little tool here. I don't even know where I got it or what it is, but it's, uh, it's very handy. I'm just going to do a little enhancement of the, uh, the bloom flowers here.
but just kind of playing around, making some swirls here and there. Add a little more interest to it maybe that way. Wondering if I should pull this in here, if that would ruin it, or give it a little more 3D effect. Can't decide. Do another spin. I think we're pretty done here. I think I'm just going to leave that the way it is. I'm going to do a torch. Let's see if there's other bubbles that come up. There's no silicon in this, so look at that. <laughs> Not what I had in mind, but that's okay. Maybe it's the Amsterdam white that's creating that? I don't know. Uh, there's no deco art satin enamel white in it, which usually creates cells, and there's no silicone. But anyway, it's okay. I don't mind this at all. Okay, we're done. If you had fun with this video, you have any questions, you can uh, make comments below. Also, please get a thumbs up and subscribe if you liked it. And thank you for joining me. I will see you next time. Bye-bye. So here this little bloom is finished. Um, do not, I have not yet varnished it. I think that's my favorite bit right there in the middle. That little translucent looking petal in the center. I do love that misty color. I'm not real happy about the pale yellow background. It's not bad. And I don't know what other color I could have used. There's the little specks that came through. I think it's a combination of using Floetrol for the pouring medium and having uh, Amsterdam white mixed in the base with the yellow. So there it is. What do you think? Thanks for joining me. Bye-bye.